Hello YouTube, in this tutorial we will talk about Discipline and Python syntax. Now before doing that, let's clear screen, CLS, and let's remove these four lines because I don't want to confuse you yet. Right, the program will of course work. We'll just print that something. Now question, every time when you see this specific color here, okay, this one, that means that you're using function which is either defined by default in python or it's created by you or someone else because of course you can get some source code from internet from other people but the moment when you messed something up when you try to use the function that does that is not defined you will get yourself into error let's run our code see name print is not defined and of course there is no such thing in the in a default python so it's important to note when you see this color there is a that kind of uh, function in python or it's done by you or someone else now this is a color for string and string is just a pile of things that you are passing to in this case print function but what is the difference between this something and something without quotes so if you try to execute this code you will get error name something is not defined because right now this is not string anymore this is now name for something else uh, which is expected to be defined somewhere else in our editor and let's actually do that so the uh, technical name for this is variable and we will talk about variables in detail but i want you to just to see how this works in the most simplest possible way so something right now is just a handle for something else so something oops not here sorry something equals and now we will define some string here So what that means, that this string will be imported, will be passed to function through intermediary, which is something like a name. I mean, you can, of course, use name here. Right, it's totally not important. So this is just a handle for actual useful content. So let me prove that. Let's just type, uh, run it. And there you go, some string here. So this is kind of hand, helping hand, grabbing actual things from somewhere in memory. Right. So let's, let's go to normal operation. I don't want to confuse you yet. Like uh, something. Right, let's run it to test it again. Cool, works. Now, in Python is such a language, and most languages are that, when you're passing something to function, you will use these normal kind of brackets. So forget about using Python function like this, or like this. No, you will not do that like this. Use normal brackets. The next question, can you have space between a function and the uh, first bracket, left one? Okay. Let's have one space, just a space, not a tab, and let's test stuff. It will work. Let's have a couple of more individual spaces. Oops, not B. Let's run our stuff. See, it will work, but in code, it's ugly. In the result, it's fine, but in code is cryptic, it's ugly. So that was for unique individual spaces. Let me clear screen, CLS, right. Can you have tab, and tab is uh, four spaces and that was defined into configuration see Python standard four spaces but don't change that so will that work it will work can you have multiple tabs it will work but again it's ugly so don't use spaces and tabs between this between name of the function and first bracket now interesting thing what will happen if you a set space or tab here okay and also here after quote will that work and let's actually have a couple of them okay let's run our stuff it will work but don't do that again it's ugly but now we have interesting stuff check this out if you put space into quotes 
or even tab right here at the end, like four spaces. Oops. Just a second. Or any amount of spaces. When you put that right here inside the quotes, what will then happen? See, there is that first space here. Let's improve it a little bit. I mean, let's use three or four of them. See, there is a difference. So every time when you're messing around with something inside of quotes, that means you're messing with real stuff. How you define it right here, it will be used later into your program. So this is really important. And the most of the time you will just use it like this, okay? Now, uh, can you have something like here and then space and then uh, also some couple of spaces here and then something here. Yes, you can do that. It's just a bunch of text, bunch of strings, right? See, there is a that difference. Can you have numbers here? Yes. So this is just a string, just a string, not a calculation. We are not doing mathematical stuff. This is just a bunch of pile of text, right? Now, next thing, let me save. And can you put special characters here? Yes, let's just use them. So you will not end up right now in a, any kind of error. It will be fine. Numbers, uppercases, lowercases, underscores, whatever. That will work fine. So you probably are familiar right now with the print command uh, a lot. Yet another thing, see this? Print without any kind of useful stuff. What will happen if you just run it. Let's do that. See, there is a little bit more of space vertical here. Now, that means that every time when you use print without any kind of parameters, it will create that vertical break. See the difference between this and this. You can also use um, empty string here. I mean, I'm just using that term, but that means you're using quotes or even quotes with a couple of spaces in it. So the result will be the same, but these spaces are actually interpreted inside of your computer as real stuff. You don't see it here, but they are there. So don't confuse yourselves, just it's important to know that uh, that thing works in, in any case. Okay, now, now let's understand indentation. And we're gonna use a little bit more uh, source code here, which is really easy to understand. If, and the moment when you see if, that means, uh, when you see this color, that means that this thing is uh, built inside of Python, inside of programming languages. And technical term is keyword, programming language keyword, right? So if five is less than 10, then, do something. So the moment when you say these two dots, I mean, what's the term in English? I always forget these things. The moment when you press enter, you will be at the new line for some uh, four spaces from the left. And this is indentation. You must follow the Python rules of four spaces here for indentation. This thing need to be unified all over the your source code. And indentation is, in this case, defined as a Python standard for spaces, right? So you cannot just mix tabs and spaces here. One tab will mean four spaces, okay? Uh, after we have our check, basically, here, let's do something like a print. So if 5 is less than 10, and that is the always true, we will, uh, we will print this is fine and a little bit of smiley. Who cares? Save and let's run our program. See, this is fine. Now, this part is not printed because this is a, what's the term in English? This is what need to be checked and this is what need to be acti activated if this is true. Or you will learn how to, uh, state here, if something is not true, then do something, okay? But this is the most po possible scenario. So there is a big difference in Python between this source code and this source code, because Python is not C++. This will not work in Python, okay? 
See, indentation error. Python will be good enough to inform you. Expected an indented block. That means press here, one tab, which is four spaces, save your program, and it works. Now, you can also, let, let's just one minute more. If 10, for example, is less than 20, we're just repeating here to, you know, to, to yourself to be familiar that you cannot broke anything, then print, for example, or awesome, I don't know, something like that, who cares? And this thing will also work. <coughs> so you see the results, okay, and these are results, you're printing it on screen or to file or to printer, but you don't see the actual source code that check the stuff. So this is simple as possible thing, really easy thing to understand. So anyway, I don't wanna talk too much about indentation, just note that you can't play around here. One tab and you will learn oft, often, not often, but over time, how to have the stairs of indentation. So the more source code with more checks, uh, the, the indentation will go like in this angle, okay? Like, let me, let me show you. Just if, for example, this then, that and uh, again if that then something else yeah so that's like a ugly pseudo code but it will work so anyway i'm gonna cut here a story and the render thank you for watching and see you next tutorial